Welcome back, IP2. I hope you're staying safe, you're taking care of yourself, and you're staying home. Let's get started with our new lesson. Today, we continue talking about media creation, and this is lesson number 15. Today, we want to create a new content which is connected to the previous few days. We had Valentine's Day, which is the day of love. So now we want to create some content for uh, Valentine's Day, some posters or some cards that you can create using uh, Paint 3D. So there are many ways you can try to create a uh, content and there is no right or wrong way as long as you do it. And as long as it looks nice, good or nice, good enough at least, right? So these are some nice examples that you can get inspired from and use to create your own um, content for Valentine's Day. So uh, you will have also homework, but I will explain the homework after um, creating our Valentine's card. So let's open a new page, open the page and here we are. So first things are first, we can use some colors. Let's first color the background, let's have a nice background and color the background to be red. So we can select the paint bucket. And we can select the opacity, of course, but we'll just leave that for 100% for now. Now we have our red background, right? So next we need some hearts and some text and some shapes maybe. So first things are first, maybe we can find a teddy. We found the teddy bear, so we can adjust it a bit. Well, it's not the best teddy bear, but it will do. We can leave it there. And we can draw some heart if you want. Maybe it's not the perfect heart, of course, but you can try. Um, maybe you can draw better than me. Let me try to do it a bit better. It's not really better, but it looks more like a heart. Yeah, so you can draw your heart by yourself or you can, uh, of course, you can change the color so you can see it more obvious. You can have a pink heart maybe or you can download from Google. You can go to Google and search uh, Valentine, or you can search heart, heart, go to images, and search Valentine, heart. And you can see many options. Usually I like to go to tools and choose color and use transparent. So it's easier to use. And you can, there are so many hearts that you can choose and use. So maybe I will choose this one, for example, and I'll just drag it in like this. And you can adjust the size 
where you want to put it, up to you, you design it. And you can, of course, add some text. And you can type in happy, happy Valentine's Day. Just like this. You can, of course, if you remember, you can go to choose a very nice font style. There are so many to choose from. You just search and see which one you like, actually. And just choose the one you like. We can go through it. This is kind of beautiful. Maybe I choose this. You can choose the color, of course. I'll change it to be white or maybe even pink. Let's see how it looks. It looks like this. Maybe not obvious enough. You could change it to be other colors, maybe white or black. Maybe white is better. All right, this is one example. Also, you can do, uh, I mean, I will do other for you also. Maybe you can use shapes. Um, also, background doesn't have to be red. For example, we could use some nice colors like Maybe like a bit bluish, like this maybe. And oops. And just color it. All right. For example, we have this as our background. And then you can add hearts over it. So we can just draw a heart and have a red color inside. Don't forget for 2D shapes, when you um, click, you cannot edit anymore. So I always like to make it 3D. So even when I unselect it, I can select it again and I can move it, right? So because like, I'll show you what happens when you use a 2D shape and you just select and uh, I mean, unselect something else. And then you cannot change it anymore. You see, I cannot select this heart. So that's why I always like to make it 3D so I can continue editing it if I need to change it. So you can learn it a bit. And you can copy it if you like. Have more parts. Coming out. and just edit your creation as you like it. So I'm telling you, there is no right or wrong, really. You can edit however you enjoy or you like your design. The most important thing is that you do the homework and you send it on time. It doesn't need to be the most beautiful work, but it needs to make sense. Like, don't just send me a blank page and say you did the homework, but try to add some parts, add some texture, design your own creation, right? Think about it, what can you add? Maybe here I search love. There are so many um, options that you could add. 
some 3D hearts, some chocolate, some balloons that you could use. I'm sorry, my laptop is a bit slow now. I don't know why, but let's wait for a bit until it loads. So for example, you can bring in some boxes just like this. You can, of course, rotate it. You see, like this and some, you can rotate it all the way, the way you like it. So it's really up to you. Let's say, I want it like this, I'll leave it there. You can add some more shapes if you need to in the 3D option here. You can, of course, draw by yourself, add some boxes, any shape that you like. You can add some person in the middle, or you can search for flowers in the 3D shape. Um, you can search. Oops. Here are some flowers. You can add some flower uh, option if you'd like. Some rose. It's a beautiful rose or not rose. Maybe we can continue uh, this shape that we have done before and just copy it to other parts. Maybe I want the whole thing actually. And just take it up there, rotate it, leave it there. Oops, not that. Oh. And uh, I don't know, my paint is kind of crazy today. Uh, my God. All right. So uh, I think you get what I mean. So you can really edit it as you like. Sorry for the inconvenience. My 3D just uh, had an error. So my file got lost. Anyways, you can add some flower just like this and add the text that you want. You can write happy Valentine. And of course you can change the text style, color, and change this and just just like this we can we can go back to add some stickers like on the text itself maybe we can add it here it would be funny to have it on the p Maybe we can have a sticker on the T. That's another idea that we can make it more fun. Maybe, maybe this one can be here actually. So it makes a face, right? And also you can add some teddy bears, some hearts. Uh, let me try to add my 2D shape as I did before. Maybe it will, hopefully it will not hang again. Uh, let's rotate it, fit it in there. Okay. And, oh, see, I forgot to do it 3D, so. I cannot edit it anymore. So let's go back. And as soon as I do this, I make it 3D. So I will be able to keep editing it. I'll just leave it there. 
Oops, 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 oops. No, no, no. Yes. Part and then 3D. Rotate. Push it inside there. Rotate more, not that rotate. So you can add some parts of the 3D so you can keep editing it. You can add it here. You can add it all over the page if you want, or if not, you can add it in here. And just as we did before, As we did before, you can copy and paste. Copy and paste. So you can have this and also take it to the other side. And move it here, rotate it, add it there. So very simple, but still it's a card. You can do better if you, if you want. You can do simple, you can do complicated, different colors. <coughs> It's really up to you, all right? So that's it for the Valentine's poster. Now let's go to your homework, what you have to do. What you have to do is create your own poster similar to the example in this class. So similar to the poster, if you design your own Valentine's card or poster, upload the JPEG or PNG format on the e-learning platform. So only one picture and only picture, please. No uh, Microsoft Word or no PDF file, okay? Just save it as a JPEG or PNG, or if it's hard, just take a screenshot and send me the screenshot, that's all. And this homework is due to 25th of February. So please send it on time. And if you send it late, I have to mark you as late submission, all right? So please send it on time. That's all for today. Thank you, everyone. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.